today on 11th Gorgeous. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hmm. Mm, mm. Cool. Cool. I think it's chemically treated. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I like butter. Ew. Right? Wow. Doesn't that sound gross? Hey guys. <laughs> it's the best time of the month. The most wonderful time every month of the year. We're making a new video. It's the biggest battle, Birchbox versus Ipsy. Get so excited. Shake it up. If you really love Birchbox versus Ipsy, make sure you go down there and click Click that thumbs up like button because then we'll know that you love it. Yeah, it's a giant thumb right there. Click it. We can get it to like 25 million million bajillion likes. Realistically though. Obviously. I say that last month we started with Birchbox so this month we're starting with Shake it up. Ipsy. Let's just do it. You know these are ten dollar a month, a month, ten dollar a month, and they try to be boxes. sample bags. Ooh, Woo. cute bag, Ipsy. I'm getting it. It's like a gray, silvery, metallic, and it has studs across the top. All right, let's we'll see what's inside. Cause I can't wait. I spy with my little eye. I don't know. Ooh. Art Touch Tinted Lip Gloss by Kaylin. Ooh. And I've never seen this before. Mm, it looks new. Mine's in Basic Instinct. Mine's in the color Love Affair and it looks like it's a deep like. Ooh, this is like a ooh, lipstick gloss. Okay, I like it. I like yours. Mine's They're good. They're both really yeah, pretty. Yeah, totally different. <gasps> I love how berry that is. Mine's really yeah. thick. Is yours worth it? I mean. Mine's like lipstick. No, mine has like a berry bitten glossiness. Yeah. Mine's very thick. It's like colored lipstick gloss. And it doesn't have a smell. Is yours say tinted? Mine lip gloss? says tinted lip gloss. Huh. But it's you see it. It's very yeah, opaque. Yeah. Mine looks like it will be more. I mean, it's a bold color, but like you could sheer it out. I'm yeah. really excited. This is cool because usually when you have light colors like this, they don't show up. I kind of want to put some of this on. Oh, pooey. Just added a little bit to it. Mmm. Mm. Fun. I'm excited to try that on its own. It's very fall. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny, it looks really kind of red tone in here, but when you swatch it, it looks more purpley. Yeah. Cool. Gruel. Gruel. I've got Via Bombshell Smooth Criminal Powder. I don't know what that means. Smooth Criminal? Yeah. That's a Michael Jackson song. I think it's maybe like a white powder. Like the Makeup Forever HD setting yeah. powder? I can't, it's got like a thing in it, but it's just like a white powder. Does it say how to use it? Mm-mm. Oh, ingredients. So yeah. Okay. So it's just like a setting powder that you could probably use like under your eyes and stuff. Beware with flash photography, because I learned it the hard way. I had white powder all over my face. But... All right, I have a Pacifica product, and mm. this is a nail polish. I didn't even know they made nail polish. Yeah, I think it's a newer thing. Well, no, we got one in our oh, swag yeah, bags from yeah, Generation Beauty. So this is in the color Red Red Wine, and it is, again, going perfect to be for perfect for fall. Oh, it's like the blood, like yeah, ox bloody ox blood. color. Very pretty. And it's seven free, 100% vegan, and cruelty free. So. Isn't seven free more than what it normally is? Yeah, she's usually like three free. That's what I thought. But it looks really opaque. I'm really excited. I'm jelly. I got nail polish as well, but I got the Sally Henson Miracle Gel, which I purchased. I'm not quite sure that it's really good. So maybe we had a bad experience? Maybe. Well, the cool thing is you had the top coat and we yeah. only bought one top coat. So now I have a top coat that I can use with the other Sally Hansen colors that I have. I'm going to give it a try because it's a really pretty red color. It is. And I love gel nails, but they damage your nails. So I want to try it. And I love Sally Hansen, so. Good stuff. I have a Nourish Organic product, and this has been in other Ipsy or Birchbox bags, not sure which, but it is a moisturizing cream face cleanser with cucumber and watercress, and it and that's really cool because I feel like my skin's been really dry lately, so it's fragrance-free formula, won't dry or irritate, and it's for all skin types, so. Okay, I have a Pacifica product as well, a Natural Minerals, I guess you're an eyeliner, because you're not an eyebrow pencil. It's in brown, a brown color, I can't really like a really tight plastic thing on it but it's just like a basic brown eyeliner i have a crown brush double ended makeup brush and it looks like a shader brush yeah like a shader brush and then a crease brush but that's really really hard 
Maybe it's like a smudger. I don't know. I like dual ended brushes. Good for travel. It cuts down on the amount of brushes you have. So, all right, this is pretty cool. I've got Brio Geo. Brio Geo? Brio Geo. Break it down and then put it back together. Don't despair. Repair. Deep conditioning mask. It's a repairing mask for dry, damaged, or chemically treated hair. So, I mean, it's dry. It's damaged. I think it's chemically treated by being bleached. Let's see if it smells good. It smells pretty good. It's a very light scent, but it smells good. Like, I, I'm glad it's not herbally, because <laughs> I'm excited. I like hair masks. They're really fun to see if they help my hair out. And it's got hair sigil vitamins, so it's gonna increase my hair elasticity. Stretchy hair. I also have a hair product. It is the Caviar CC Cream 10-in-1 Complete Correction Leave-In Hair Perfector. And I think I got this product from my sample society box that we don't show you guys because I just get it and I don't know, we just haven't shown you guys. But I get it. I think I got a bigger one of these or else I got it in something else recently. Does not, because I know I looked at all the like 10 different ways. Yeah. It's from whatever, so we'll have to try it. All right, so cool. so so it's not my best one, but it's got good products in it. I mean, I like the lip gloss, I like the hair product, nail polish is okay. I'd say the only thing that I'm iffy about is the eyeliner, just because it's a basic brown eyeliner. Yeah, I'm only iffy about the brush, just because that one side feels kind of hard. But yeah, I'll have to try it and see what I think. Oh, and that's pretty cool. Now we find out can Birch Box hold its own? Super cute boxes this month. And they're different. Yeah. I, I wish Perch Box looked like this all the time. I know. Ugh. Open. Fresh paint. Ooh, does that mean there's nail polish? Cool. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so this is the first thing that I see, and it is from Devine's All in One Milk Multi Benefit Beauty Treatment All Hair Types. What the heck do you do? Adds shine, adds softness and silkiness, excellent detangling power, facilitates combing of dry and wet hair, controls frizz. I'm excited, and it's parabens free. Parabens free. <laughs> parabens free. But does it smell good? Let me find out. It's my favorite thing about Ooh. this. Is it oily or is it creamy? It's creamy, yeah. It's like It has a little bit of herbaly scent, but that's not a... But also kind of perfumey. It doesn't offend me. That's my favorite way. It it's almost is offensive. like a boy scent. Yeah. My first product, <laughs> this is funny. Like, the name of it's funny. Pours No More. It's by Dr. Brandt. Vacuum Cleaner. Ew! Right? Uh, Doesn't that sound gross? So it's a blackhead extractor mask. I gotta be honest, I don't have a problem with blackheads, really. Yeah. I mean, that's not a bad size product, and that's a cool product to have. So if I had blackheads, I'd be even more excited. But it might no, be good to clean. No, I wouldn't be more excited if I had blackheads. It might be good to clean your pores, pores in general. Yeah, yeah, so. I do get clogged pores, but I never really notice them that they're like blackheads. Yeah. My clogged pores are not dirty. That's what it is. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I also got that as well. Oh, cool. Wait, I have this tiny one from Skin & Co. It is a Sicilian Light Serum, Day Brightening Serum. This is only five milliliters. This is teeny. It has a triple action formula that brightens, softens, and tightens the skin while minimizing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. But like we always say, there's not really enough in here to know if it really does what it says it does. It does anything or if I would even like it. Honestly. The one good thing I think about things like that with having smaller samples is you'll know if it reacts with your skin. Tiny. It's kind of like a test strand with hair dye. Like, I know it looks not super tiny, but it's like there's nothing in there. So you'll like my next sample. Oh wait, does it look like this? Tip two. It's a highlighter, but I gotta, I gotta be honest, it is kind of cool. You don't have to have a, a thing to do it. You can yeah. just like put a little drop and spread it out and it's very, very faint, which I like because I can't stand when it's like, like say somebody turns to the side and it's like a streak. <laughs> But I love it once my turns to the side and it's just a slight glow. And yeah. I think this will give a slight glow. It says dab and blend on apples of cheeks, brow bones, cupid's bow, or anywhere else you'd like. Yeah. So, so it's actually really cute and, and it doesn't take much so that kind of... Could last a while. Yeah, like it makes it not seem so small because it doesn't take much. In addition to the hair milk product, they also put in foil packets of shampoo and conditioner. So, you know... Eh, it's just eh from that same brand. Yeah, I've got Shea Butter, an intensive nurturing body balm with lavender extract. You love lavender, right? It might be a good scent though. I have to know what kind of lavender you are. Are you offensive or not? Nah? Yeah, you're offensive. Dang. It's not that bad. But it's very lavendery. All right, my next one is Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. We haven't had a perfume sample from Birchbox in a really long time. But I won't so, complain about these kinds. Yeah. I love smelling new juicies. It's 
smells pretty good. I like it. Oh, yeah. It has... There's apple in there. Wild berries, honeysuckle, and warm caramel notes. It's my warm kind of scent. Yeah, I really like it a lot. So cool. I've got Origins Plant Scription Anti-Aging Serum. I can't complain about that. Apply AM and PM. It's a small sample, so that's one of those things where like, we don't know if it's really gonna like help with the wrinkles and anti-aging, but that's not bad. And I like Origins, it's a good brand. And then apparently they decided I was gonna get extra because I got a chapstick. Two formulas and one non-tinted. One side is Renew and one side is Moisturize. And we're getting into that time of the year where the lips get dry and you gotta keep them moisturized. That's pretty cool. So the Moisturize says fuller, smoother, and younger looking lips and Renew revitalizes lips with natural butters. I like butter. I don't know, my, neither one of mine were horrible. For me, I'm gonna give it to Ipsy because honestly, the only thing in here that I'm really excited about is the hair milk stuff. These are just like one-time uses. Tiny sample here. Like Stephanie said, don't really have blackheads, but I do love a good face mask, so yeah. that's cool. Honestly, these two things are- Are your favorite? Are the best for me, and I, now I know I like this perfume. I think I'm gonna get a ton of use out of the nail polish and lip gloss from Ipsy. Yeah, it's hard for me because I liked the lip gloss. I'm so, so on the nail polish. I didn't care for the eyeliner. I mean, I like white powder, but I don't use it in my everyday, like, whatever, so it's kinda eh. This, I'm really excited about the hair mask. That's like the best part of this one. But then like for a birch box, I don't know, like I like the perfume sample because it's a good perfume. And then a good anti-aging serum. Chapstick is always, always good. I love chapstick. Yeah, I mean, even this is lavender, it's a good balm. So I got a pretty good birch box, like considering my previous boxes. So I'm excited for both of them. I'm not, I'm not gonna say that either one of them were really bad because I mean, I liked both of them for different reasons. So I'm gonna go for a draw this month. I'm yeah. gonna say they both win. I would say it's not the worst birch box I've ever had, but I'm more excited about my Ipsy products. Yeah. It's a draw here. She likes the Ipsy. Yep. That's our Birchbox Ipsy for the month of September. Yep. Don't forget to let us know down there what you got, what you liked, which one you thought won. And we'll also put the values down in the description box so you can see which one won money-wise. Yes. We also did an unboxing of BoxyCharm this month, which I think you guys really liked. So maybe we'll do that again next month. We are also bringing back our Malogs, which Yay! if you don't know, are the P.O. Box hauls that we used to do. And we're doing on our other channel, which was formerly Other Side of EG is now TNS. So we'll link that so you can go check out that channel. The vlog should be up soon with the mail in it. So you could check that. And we always have our PO box down below if you're interested in sending us a letter or a postcard or whatever you guys want to send. All right, guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy our Birch Box versus Ipsy. Don't forget to subscribe, check out all of the rest of the videos, and we will talk to you guys in our next video. We sure will. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.